So my washing machine's on, so just ignore that. I'm gonna make a cup of tea. I have a cup just here. I wasn't gonna vlog today. Well, I was gonna vlog a bit today and then possibly add it into like, maybe I was gonna start properly vlogging from next week. I just thought, hell, let's just start today. See where we end up and maybe I'll be able to upload something on Sunday, finally, because I have not uploaded for so long and I'm very aware of that and I've missed you and I have tried to vlog since my last vlog, but everything just got a bit crazy and nothing was really happening but lots of things are happening felt a bit depressed <laughs> not depressed but like felt a bit down throughout December I was working a lot which is great but I was also very tired and to be transparent I've mentioned before with Gabe's situation in case anyone doesn't know my son is three and a half and he's autistic he doesn't know what Christmas is and most three and a half year olds would be able to participate in some way he isn't and I'm, I find big events like that quite difficult to deal with at the stage that we're at. That's a hard funk to get out of when you're dealing with it. And so, again, I guess I just wasn't so peppy to vlog. It's a new year. It's a new, it's a new year, it's a new me. And well, I'll tell you what it is. It's a new year, so she's getting new teeth. Bring it, she's, do, she's doing Invisalign. I don't think, I think I tried to vlog this in December to tell you about it and then never put the vlog up. But you may remember last summer I went for an Invisalign consultation. It's something I've been talking about for ages. The place I went to for a consultation just took ages to get back to me about pricing. I've got really bad gums so I did need to do a bit of work before starting Invisalign to make sure my teeth were in like the best shape possible. Like honestly, look after your gums, okay everyone? In the interim, dentist called Dr Tilly who I'm seeing today her team reached out to me and said am I in the market for any cosmetic dentistry do we want to do some kind of collaboration so we are looking for people to make content about their Invisalign journey for Dr Tilly's page and in return they can offer me a discount obviously it was like absolutely yes Dr Tilly's wonderful I had a FaceTime consultation with her then I went in to see her I've had an appointment with the hygienist at the dentist that I'm going to which is I'll take you because we're going today. Everyone needs to see the hygienist before they go forth on their Invisalign consultation. And I'll talk about I'll talk about that later, but honestly, this hygienist has been an absolute dream, like an angel. I don't know what my hygienist was doing before her. I've never had such an intense hygienist appointment. I've had two with her, and that I've never had them so intense. Um, her name's Millie, she's amazing, worth every penny. So and I have a new hygienist, which I feel like is a blessing in disguise because I think she's saved my gums basically because they were quite inconsistent for a while. It was basically because they just weren't, I was going to the hygienist and it just not enough cleaning was being done. So Millie's really sorted me out. Was due to get my Invisalign fitted next week, but it was a bit tricky with the appointment. So it was looking like it might have to be the end of January. The team messaged me literally this morning, were like, on the off chance, you're around today to have your Invisalign fitted because we've had a cancellation this afternoon. I was like, oh my God, yes. And today is actually the perfect day for that to happen. Like when we were trying to rejig the appointment, so I was thinking, oh God, if, if I could do the third of Jam, that would actually be perfect. Because Hainsley's home um, and it's kind of, I mean, January's not busy for me personally, but it's busy around me. So I have to be at home a lot with the kids. So it was really tricky to try and schedule in this fitting and miraculously it's happened today and I just, I can't wait. I can't wait. So I'm gonna take you with me. I can't believe I'm actually starting this journey. Like I've wanted to do this for so long. These awful shoes, oh. Oh, aren't you such a lovely big brother? So I forgot in that update to tell you also that this one is very big boy. Hello. <laughs> Hello. He turned one, didn't he, on the 23rd of December. Nice as it was to be postpartum in January, having a Christmas baby is, is something. And I kind of indulged in not having to be that organized this year. But for the years to come, I know I'm gonna have to be on it. I need saving through the year and like honestly done buying presents by Black Friday. Like that, I'm gonna have to be that parent because birthday and then two kids at Christmas to sort. It's gonna be a lot, so to avoid, and also being a hairdresser, um, it's just gonna be a lot. <laughs> 
Look at my mouth. I didn't actually vlog much of yesterday. I wish I'd vlogged more at the dentist, but I was in the chair basically, so it's quite hard to vlog anything. And I just, I sometimes just get a bit funny being like, oh, can I take my camera out? Even though I'm doing this as a content piece for Instagram. And so Tilly, my dentist would very much be like, yeah, of course. I still felt like a bit of a boob being like, can I just get my vlog camera? As you may have noticed, the Invisalign is in. I've got so many attachments on my teeth. Oh God, my <laughs> What time is it now? It's Thursday morning and it's 11 o'clock. So I've had them in since 4 p.m. yesterday. Well, I've obviously taken them out to brush my teeth and stuff and eat. That is annoying, taking them out. I'm not particularly lisping, lisping. I'm not really lisping, um, but I feel like you can obviously tell that there's something in my mouth. So I'm talking a bit weird, but I, it hasn't affected my speech as much as I thought it would. It's more just kind of getting used to my mouth accommodating everything that's in there. Also, just quickly, I am, obviously very inspired by TikTok as a lot of us are at the moment and I've dug out this lip liner is MAC subculture and I feel like TikTok is quite nostalgic at the moment with MAC and I'm hearing a lot of people talk about like old old it MAC lipsticks are coming up that I hadn't thought about for ages and not really colours that I ever particularly liked but you know like back in the day of YouTube when it first started and we all loved it there were these MAC like particular MAC eyeshadows that everyone had like all the glitters and like Naked Lunch, a particular MAC lipsticks that all the like it girls had, like Shy Girl and like Cream Cup and Pure Zen and stuff like that. And I never really liked those colours because they were too pink. I feel like, what did I have? Like Freckle Tone, Velvet Teddy. And there was another one I was trying to remember that I absolutely loved. When I was doing my makeup this morning, I thought I need something on my lips. Reached for subculture. And I never actually used to like this lip liner that much when I first got it, but I'm quite enjoying it. So anyway, I've done a client this morning. She just literally needed a toner and a blow dry. I finished early. I'm meeting my mum's friend for um, tea and cake later this afternoon with Elliot because Elliot's easier to take for tea and cake than Gabe is. So <laughs> daddy will be with Gabe and I'll be with Elliot. But I'm, I've just got a little bit of tidying up here to do. I might attempt to take my Invisalign out and have coffee. But it honestly is like, is it worth it? I can see why people say you lose weight when you have Invisalign in because Eating and drinking anything other than cold water is like, is it really worth it? <laughs> oh my gorgeous angel. I know my baby boy. Mm -hmm. Is that yummy? So, it's early, God, I look quite awful. It's actually not that early. Hey, Dougie's on, so that means it's about 10 past 7. My mornings go by what's on CVV, so I know what time it is. So, we are just having our breakfast. Gabe is asleep. Daddy was away last night working, so it's just me. Gabe comes into our room pretty much every night. When Hainsey and I are both here, one of us sleeps in his bedroom with him. But when it's just one of us, we can't really do that because we need to be like be aware of what's happening with Elliot as well. And Elliot's still in our room on the nights when hainsey has been away working. Gabe, I just know that Gabe will at some point come into the bedroom. And he came in last night at like maybe two. And that varies. Sometimes he just falls straight to sleep and I don't hear a peep. Sometimes he might be awake for a bit. It's never awful when he's awake. He might just sometimes have a little sing song or like he giggles to himself sometimes. It's quite cute. He's not really annoying. But it is also like, can you just go back to sleep please? Um, and then Ellie tends to stir like four-ish. And so I bring him into bed onto me. And then Ellie will kind of wake up at half five and half six. On a good day, half six. Today it was half six. I got up with Elliot and gave some bed. So we're just having our breakfast. <laughs> What's that? I tend to do, I can be bothered, he has porridge, but we also have a stock of these overnight oats from Ella's kitchen. These are the banana and apple ones. No, banana and pop. Oh yeah, they do have apple in. Banana and poppy seed, but they have apple pieces in as well. Um, it's an expensive way to do breakfast, sure but they're just quite handy to have in stock through the week if you have a busy morning like if it's mornings where it's just me sometimes it's easier just to give him one of these rather than try and make porridge Gay doesn't eat porridge so it's not like i can be i can make porridge for both of them so this is just easy to grab i don't know why i'm justifying it so much who cares i sound like i've got a bit of a cold hello <laughs> gaby sometimes wakes up around this time or like 7 30 but I, I'll give him until quarter to eight and then go and wake him up. Breakfast, get him ready, and then it will be time. Is that him? 
no. To go to nursery, he's at nursery today. Um, at nursery five days a week, which is amazing. Okay, we did the nursery run. I didn't take you with me because it's a bit stressful um, trying to get everyone ready and then off out. Came back, was up with Elliot for a bit. He's now having a nap. Hainsey actually got home uh, whilst I was putting Elliot down for a nap. So he then took over putting Elliot down for a nap because for some reason in the day, Elliot's really hard to put down. He falls asleep on me and I try and put him down in bed and he wakes up. And so he's been a bit tricky recently. I found with me in the day when Hainsey was there, I was like, can you do it please? Anyway, I need to brush my teeth. I took my his line out to eat breakfast. Um, we actually need to switch over to week number three today, which is exciting. I might look at like the last trays to see how straight the bottom teeth are. Oh wait, I only have up to 10. I've got 20 weeks apparently. Oh my God. Week 10, the bottom teeth look almost straight. <gasps> so I need to just brush my teeth with my oral routine and then put these in. So bear with. Honestly, every time I brush my teeth, I'm amazed because my gums have not bled once since seeing Millie at Lucio at where I'm getting my Invisalign. She's the most incredible hygienist. Like that's n that has not happened for years. Like I always was getting some kind of bleeding with either flossing or interdental in like an area of my mouth. It may not be that bad. And like part of my gums would sometimes be inflamed, but they have just been so consistent. And I saw her, the last time I saw her was the 18th of December. And since then, they've just been so consistently just chilled. And I haven't had that for so long. So I'm just so pleased <laughs> that I'm finally at a place with my gums where they're like settled. Um, I know this is probably boring if you don't have bad gums, you won't know what this is like, but it's just great. And I just feel so blessed that I found Millie. <laughs> so she's very expensive, but she's, I mean, absolutely worth it. Because you've not done Invisalign, this is a chewy and I chew it around my teeth to make sure that the retainers are like in week three's in so my skin i don't know if it looks that bad on camera but particularly like around my eyes i burnt myself with retinol <laughs> i just got a bit overexcited it's on my neck as well don't put retinol on your neck i bought the medicaid retinol which was really good like it wasn't really doing that much because i bought the lowest strength one which is what's supposed to happen you don't you don't want this to happen i then went and got a prescription retinol this is the one I have. It's the Abagi 360 Retinol 0.5 Cream. I got this prescribed to me and had been using it and felt like it wasn't giving me particular sensitivity. So I upped it to doing it every day. There's a reason they say use a pea size amount, okay? Take heed from me and do what they say, use a pea size amount. It doesn't feel enough, but I assure you it is because I upped it to every day and then wasn't using a pea size amount, was literally using it like moisturizer. I follow this um, dermal clinician, so useful. She's the reason I got into retinol. I follow this girl, she's called Driven by Beauty. Her name's Jade. She's so sassy, I love her. She has got a whole like thread on retinol and she has in it, this like, this is how you don't apply it. She's got a video about how, you, how you're supposed to apply it. But yeah, like I just love her. She's so, she's great. You're supposed to use a pea size amount. Everyone tells you to use a pea size amount and then you dot it here, here and here and then you rub it in and any excess goes on the middle on your nose top lip. So anyway, I need to wash my face today and just give myself all of the hydration. I haven't used retinol for the last three nights. and I've just been using hyaluronic acid and I did buy a new moisturizer. Actually, I've got a, new, a couple of new skincare things. The, I really like Medicaid. So I bought their retinol eye cream, but I think I'm only gonna use this like once or twice a week. I also bought their Super C Ferulic. I love the SkinCeuticals um, Vitamin C Ferulic. It's very expensive. Everyone says just about Medicaid in general. So I thought, let's try Let's try the Medicaid ones. Then I also bought this, I needed a night cream because I'd run out, so I bought the Medicaid night cream. And this is to be used with, well, not always with retinol, but this is really good to use after using retinol at night. It's their Advanced Night Restore Rejuvenating multi ceramide Night Cream, and it's lovely. It's so nice. I, I really like Medicaid as a brand. And after I burnt my face off with retinol, I didn't use that night cream, I was just using the REN Overnight Recovery Balm, and this has been really good. So the lineup for this morning is Muskia Cleanser, um, then the Aven Thermal Water, Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, my favourite hyaluronic acid, CeraVe Day Cream SPF 50. Jesus, 
it is windy. Um, okay, so we're in the car. I was about to say we're in the car again, but I didn't bring you to nursery this morning, did I? So we're in the car for the first time today, you and I together. I just had to drive to the post office because there was a post office, it just randomly closed. It then popped up in the shopping centre, amazing, so handy. Then again, just randomly closed before Christmas. So I don't have a post office, well I do actually, because I've just been, so I, I, I have a post office near me, but it's not where I would walk to. Um, so I've just driven there basically, and it was it's great. I'm glad that I've been there, I'm glad that I know it's there. I always do this where I think at home, I'm gonna go into town and I'm gonna get this, this, this and this. And then I get to town and I'm a bit like, wait, why am I here? Um, I'd like to get a soothing mask. I'd quite like to go to Space and Kane and see if they have summer Fridays in the one in town. I don't think they do, but I'd quite like the jet lag mask. I need to get some bigger vests for Elliot because he's such a big boy growing out of everything. Right, so we've, we've been to town. thought maybe I'd take you shopping, but I didn't really. Um, because I went to Space and Kane. So I did get... I needed another little poof for the shower. I did get the La Roche-Posay eye cream. It's this one. Hydra B5 eyes. They also did this as a moisturizer, which looked quite nice. But anyway, I don't know why I'm showing you. Got that. Eyes, eyes are gonna be hydrated. I also popped into Space NK, where I used to work, um, I'll have you know. Uh, when I first started doing hair from home, I also worked at Space NK. So I still go in and see the girls that are there. And I also went in because I suddenly thought, I want to see if they've got Summer Friday. I said this already, to see if they've got the jet lag mask. And they did, so, but they only had the big size. So I did pick up the Summer Friday's jet lag mask for my retinal burnt skin. I thought that could be quite a nice one because it's hydrating. And also, because I just do feel like a crusty old toe at the moment, because it's January, and my skin is like, I thought this would be quite a good one to have on hand. So then I was basically in space in case for ages, just chatting to the girl that I used to work with. It was there. She also did hook me up with some little tester pots of Augustina Sparda shampoo and conditioner because I want to, I wanted to just give it a go to see what the hype was about. And then I spent a long time in boots doing a TikTok video. I wasn't actually doing a video. I was taking pictures for a TikTok video. I talked about TikTok and how I'm a TikTok star. I'm not sure if you guys know. I basically started doing TikTok talking about hair care and like kind of went viral. Um, and so now I have quite a following on there and I'm just really enjoying it. I have a few different like series things that I do. One of which is talking about high street drugstore hair care and what's actually decent. So when I was in Boots, I took the opportunity to sort the content for that video, which I'll do this week. So yeah, I'll leave my TikTok handle if you haven't seen it, but it's TikTok's just a bit mental, but yeah. God, that fucking headlight's in my eye. Right, let's go home. Oh, hi. So I thought I would just uh, round off this vlog. I was just editing it. Oh, I'm just about to go to bed, but I thought, I'd end this vlog and just round off a few things. I feel like I need to stand on tiptoes because otherwise, like, is that... Hi. It's my skin is feeling so much better after being burnt from retinol. But look, we've got this. I think I'm going to wait until... I'm actually having a facial on Wednesday and I'm so excited. Um, I've booked a hydrofacial, which I'll take you with me because I'm going to vlog next week as well. I actually think I'm not going to use retinol until after I've had my facial. I just want my skin to be, like, in the best-ish condition to be able to have it. I just wanted to conclude on the Summer Fridays mask. Glorious. So, so nice. I slept in it last night because my skin was feeling just like a crusty old toe. And have used it every day since I got it. And I think it's really, really helped with my parched retinal skin, but also with my dry, crusty winter skin. It is such a good mask. I'm actually really glad that I got the bigger size because I feel like I might sleep in this quite a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I can highly recommend that. Really excited to get this up tomorrow and get back on the old vlogging train. I've missed you all so much. Thank you anyone who still watches me for sticking around. Hopefully I can start to get a bit more, a few more vlogs up here and there. Next week we've got a nice week. Um, it's kind of like a pamper week really. I'm getting my nails done, I'm getting a facial and I'm getting Botox. <laughs> so, so I really hope that you enjoyed this and it's so lovely to see you again. I'm I did, did I even say Happy New Year? Is it too late for Happy New Year? I hope you've had a good start to the year and that you're feeling okay. If you haven't had a good start to the year, like don't worry about it. It's still the middle of winter. It's actually spring, which is the new year. So don't worry if you're not feeling particularly motivated now. You've got until spring to get it together, basically. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. And 
I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.